Let's talk about the idea of the historical Adam and Eve. I know that you said you believe in a historical Adam and Eve. So could you talk a little bit about like what makes you convinced that? Because uh, I know this is something that's starting to be questioned a little bit. But what makes you convinced that Adam and Eve were real historical figures? Well, Genesis clearly talks about them as real historical people. Uh, for one, they're listed in genealogies. Uh, Paul refers to him as an historical person. And so I compare it to someone like Gilgamesh. A lot of scholars like uh, Trigvay Medinger would say Gilgamesh was a real historical person. They're just not going to believe all the things he did in the Epic of Gilgamesh. Because, And the reason being is because Gilgamesh shows up in genealogies. So he may have been a real king of Uruk at one point. Just he probably didn't go on these grand adventures with Enkidu and go to the end of the world and all these types of things. It's probably just a later myth about him. So from there, I mean, people, I would say Adam at least is an historical person, regardless of the stuff going on. Genesis is accurate or not. So that's one reason I would take him as historically accurate. Um, in terms of arguing beyond that, it's hard to do because there's not a lot of evidence we don't have inscriptions of someone named Adam living in the Garden of Eden early on. I can't really go beyond that. Um, I would have to look for uh, arguments that Genesis is a reliable count, and they make a probabilistic argument that if they got, you know, A through Z accurate, it's likely that they're accurately recording an early priest of creation in Eden. So that would just be the only way I could do, really go about doing it.